Once upon a time, not so long ago, as I was chasing the threads on the path from the external world of ego to the internal dwelling of soul, where the miracles reside, I rediscovered this curious character. He exuded a silence, unusual in a strength and an alluring charm. I found him standing at the top of a cliff, the place where the end and the beginning meet. I observed him for a while until he turned a key, unlocked himself and jumped off the edge. As he flew into the sky, I asked him what he was doing. I am redefining myself in order to be together again, to be free. He then spoke to the wind and let go of some documents. I released the desire to uphold a self-identity and let go of my need to maintain the constraints of society's label. To the sun, he said. I now transform this cremation of dull care spell into an eternal quest to perfect the art of truth. To the river, he declared, I wash away the pressure of yearning to be special and elevated. I alleviate the demands of the public ego by seeking to be somebody in their eyes. Having nothing to prove, I am now clear to watch the waters fall and hear the echo of the stream. He then whispered through the trees and the rocks to the leaders on this planet. Behind your fake masks of hidden elitist hierarchy, manipulating people to be subordinate to your ideas, the only thing that the universe can hear is the tone of the melody that rings from your heart. This is what truly actualizes your reality into existence, not the illusion of perceived external control. He then admitted to himself, the great earth shall overcome any hindrances, but the people will have to choose between being imprisoned in a false safe house or stepping into the unknown land of liberty. The local villagers considered this man to be a fool for being different and for not conforming to society's norms. He challenged the people's hive mind definition of themselves, which did not gel well with their pride. To them, he said, I hereby liberate myself, ending my urge to be understood and abandon my call to convince others to validate my point of view. I happily allow you to approve or disapprove of me as I allow you the prerogative to ponder the thoughts of your choosing and the creation of the reality for yourselves that follow. I felt that this mysterious being reflected the ancient wisdom witnessed in the still lake bound beyond the polarity of night and day. There was something familiar about the energy he radiated. To me, he said, it does take one to know one, for you can only see and understand the wisdom and profoundity in another to the level that you can see and understand it within yourself. In the beginning, he and others like him walked alone, being one of the first to be brave enough to be himself, reclaim his mind and walk his unique truth. But this was the day I had met my soul, my other half, for we had finally lost, found and recognized our authentic selves and therefore each other, so we could become 
together once again. Um, we are witnessing the transition from the prison society to the, the paradise society, if you like, or the freedom society. And to, to go from the system we've had, which is based on control and imposition, to the system that we're heading towards, which is what this vibrational change is all about, um, w this has got to go. And it's um, now going. We're going through this, this process where it, it, it's all breaking down. And if we can encompass it as what it is, which is a collective experience to get to where we, we'd like to go, a world of freedom, a world of kindness, a world of love, a world of um, um, freedom to express your uniqueness rather than be imprisoned in your... Um, tiny version and false identity of what you are told you are, um, then it's much easier than if you seek to cling to the wreckage of the dying system um, right, and, and, and hold it together. In some ways, you were something of a pioneer, where you had to do it, go it alone. You know, for me, if, if not the greatest human disease of all, because everything comes out of it, I guess, is insecurity. Um, ironically, it was at the height of mass national ridicule that I found my security. Mm -hmm. uh, because there's that, that line in that song, I think it was in the 60s, freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose. Absolutely. And you have uh, to look inside of your security, you're not going to get it from anywhere else. Outside. Yeah, I mean, you look at my situation in regard to that line from that song in um, the early 90s, early mid 90s. Um, I was being ridiculed by a nation. So, I had nothing left to lose. Um, and that's when I found freedom. The freedom uh, to break out of the prisons of fearing what other people think. And basically, I was, laugh, laugh, but this is me. You know, I saw a great um, car sticker. Free. I remember a great car sticker in California, I saw, would be in California. And it said, uh, you laugh at me because I'm different, I laugh at you because you're all the same. Project Camelot is, is probably one of the finest um, dam-busting uh, projects and, and exposure projects ever launched. Uh, and I suggest you go home and log on to projectcamelot.org and discover a new world of information that blows, blows open every single conspiracy you've ever heard of. Information that you can't even believe exists all exists on projectcamelot.org.